in my holy illegible writing, written down a few words, and Jim and I will just make some comments on them. Do you want to start with that one, one, two, one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the uh, performance. I uh, noticed uh, a couple of things which are uh, very much related to uh, our research in biomechanics of aging. So first thing I noticed is um, intensity of movement. So different intensity. So we, we can see uh, people moving at different speed and then uh, using different uh, forces during the movement. So. Uh, our research uh, shows that this higher intensity, the higher the intensity, the better may be the effect to your muscular skeletal system. So, but uh, also the intensity shouldn't be uh, too high because that may also uh, in, uh, get injured. So, uh, from my uh, from my saw in the dancing, I I, I can see that the uh, intensity. Uh, was very nice for different age of group of people. Yeah, that's that's very nice. And uh, uh, the second thing I noticed is uh, amazing uh, effect of dancing on the posture. Because I can see the, uh, uh, especially because uh, my research concerned with the spine, so I can see the posture of the back. Everybody on that word automatically does this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a, a very good effect on the spine. I know the spine, the back posture is defined by the decided by the spine, and the spine is uh, con con uh, consists of a uh, of bone. And uh, with aging, this bone become weak. So if people are keeping uh, not a good posture, so this will compress the bone and then uh, induce some permanent change of the spine. But if we keep uh, uh, dancing, keep this amazing good posture, then we may avoid this uh, problem. Yeah, that's... Thank you. <laughs> uh, the, the other thing about the intensity of the movement that was very clear was the level of fitness, which was quite impressive for, for people to be able to, first of all, complete a day when you do quite a bit of dancing, and then work through a performance like that. It was um, good, good to see the levels of fitness that were in, in from where do I need to go? How do I relate to other people? And, and that whole engagement of the, the cognitive with the psychomotor, so the, the brain with the body, is, uh, is proven to be very effective in delaying memory loss and in, in trying to um, address some of the issues with memory associated with older people. And finally, one thing that I've, I've found very impressive, well, I found so many things very impressive, but proprioception is another word that we use, which is it tells us where our body parts are without being able to see them. So all of this moving with your arms like this, you know where your arm is, and, so, and you can feel its effect on your overall body. And that idea of proprioception is a very important um, aspect that helps us to be able to move through space safely and effectively. And, and all of the dancers challenged proprioception along with your flexibility and your dynamic balance and the strength. And, and it was wonderful to see. I think it was especially the case um, with these three performances because there were a mixture of ages um, uh, evident. And what was what was interesting, I'm, I'm looking at my notes here, um, like for example in um, the second piece, several of you were doing similar movements together. Now, um, unlike the hero of Port de Ballet, um, actually what we saw was the individuality of each person coming through um, in how you did it and how you did it uniquely. Um, the beauty of movement also came through, particularly in the first one, especially with the lights, the lighting um, to um, uh, really highlight the um, extensions and um, uh, relations of movement together. Um, and the um, touch and connection and negotiation of movement, these are all relationship 
type activities. And so what we saw was the real sense of some relations, relationships forming. Um, and I began to make up all these stories. <laughs> you know, the, young, the older woman supporting the younger woman. People in the 15 to 20 age group, all the way up to through four people who were over 70. The young group engaged with dance an awful lot more. They're students, so they're probably dancing um, an awful lot more. But we still had 70 plus year olds engaging up to three hours of dance a week, which was, which was good to see. Nobody here between 40 and 49. Me, but I don't I'm here. <laughs> and, and Laura. We should have um, why do people dance? Most people dance for the exhilaration. That was a word that came through very, very consistently. So when we looked through your comments, exhilaration uh, came through. Fitness came through very much so. And an ability to... Can you just say, this is so apposite. I didn't write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe. Pepe from the Arts Catalyst has been uh, videoing all day, capturing as much as she can. And what we'll do, we've got all of your contact details, we will edit this.